how did Johnny Walker beat Span? Because Span wasn't training. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Fucking Ryan Span, dude. I never trained before. <laughs> Last time I fought a top 10 guy, I got KO'd in the first round nearly by Anthony Smith. I just wasn't training now. <laughs> Fucking hell. Thank you for the $5, JG Modner. I really just wanted to have my balloon and trust myself. I put in a lot of work. This is honestly the first time we've actually trained for a fight and we need to talk about that yeah so i've been doing everything coming off the couch like everybody always mad at me all right we, we gotta get some clarity we, we, okay so what happens is what happened, so what happened, what happened was, was <laughs> so i get i blew up out the fights and i'll stop training and like my brother always say i retire out there i fight okay. so the the truth is we haven't really fought or trained because most of the time it's me it's cutting camp. Weight. Yeah, yeah, it's me cutting weight. There you go. Okay. It's me cutting weight. All right. Yeah. I think he just told the story. That's it. So I talked to, you know, my coaches and, you know, and we basically discovered the fact that I've been coming off the couch, you know, basically doing this, like barely training, doing what I have to do just to get by, just to get to the fight. See, now... Like, I've been posting, I've, we've left no stone unturned. I brought in Eric Pena. I've been working with Mike Scacia. Like, and it's showing, like, my body. Like, I feel good. I'm happy. I've been working on my mental game, you know, and talking to a therapist. Like, I'm telling you, man, it's completely different. You know, I couldn't afford decent rings to even get married. You know, like, now I was able to go and get her the ring she wanted. Like, I was able to get me one. Like, it just... Things are changing, and I have to beat this dude. I have to walk through him to get to where I'm trying to go to continue to see these differences. And that's why I worked so hard. I got a therapist, got a nutritionist. I'm with my strength coach. Like, I'm having to do what I had to do, what I should have been done, but now I know. Like, this is, I'm too close now to, to, to even risk just trying to show up like I have been. Most of my camps have been just cutting weight. All those fights before you never trend. Nah, that's just fake, dude. I hate when people say that. Fuck him for that. What an unlikable person. I just finally started to train. Dude had a whole fucking emotional thing about his mum being sick and him trying to provide for her. Didn't you, didn't you remember that? The whole fucking epilogue they did with ESPN about his mum being sick and he has to fight for her and provide for her. He's capping about not training for a fight, dude. Why you got to add that disrespect? It's so annoying.